As a way of preserving the environment in Chigezi sub-region, Chigezi High School in Kabare District has banned the use of Kavela from entering school premises. Addressing the journalist in his office, Mr. Abraham Akamprila said that they are protecting the environment through the ban of Kavela at school premises. He added that they have registered a better school environment than before and that they are using clubs at the school to do community sensitization about the dangers in Kavela. He added that the shops around the school have also dropped the sale of Kavela because of the ban at School. We're trying to mitigate climate change. It's one of the ways we are doing this is through ban of Cavell in school. And uh, so no, no one is supposed to be in a Cavell. So far I think we still have a better environment, much, much better than before. And we use our clubs to, to do sensitization and awareness. For example, now it is a dry season, to water the plants around and uh, make sure that every, uh, if it comes to sorting waste, because from the canteen we have waste, like bottles are put on uh, one side and also the biodegradables and these things are taken to town. Those ones they will take them for recycling. Already our learners have known that we don't need the cavero. They have survived without it. Some people think they can survive without cavero, but I see the children now know. So they are to teach the, 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 these people back in their families. So we, are, we want to make an impact on society. When they go back, they teach their siblings and their parents. And we know these are the people who go to the community later on. So this is an advocate program, but we don't need a cafe. The patron of the Environment Club at Jigezi High School, Sharon Tumijuche and George Tudiasima, said that the ban of Kavela at Jigezi High School has affected the school positively. They added that previously the compound would be dirty at school and that the noise by crowds looking for Kavela in dustbins has also been reduced. The ban of Kavela in Jigezi High School has impacted us positively. I can assure you our environment is now very clean. Whoever enters actually asks themselves, oh, you people, how do you keep this place clean? Partly it is because we have burnt that cavera. Uh, we, have also, we have also planted a number of things in our school to demonstrate for our learners how they can utilize space, how they can plant things that they can eat and that can improve their health and benefit them. They can sell them and get money and all that. And actually for the learners, the ban of Cavera has also saved their pocket money. You can imagine someone burns a disposable one, which you can use, you know, it is reusable. They can use it even ten times, but the Cavera they would buy, drop it there wherever they are and the whole environment would get dirty. But now, even that money that used to buy the Cavera now has been saved. So I believe and I know it has impacted positively. And with time, I believe even the communities around us will have no caveras because now they do not have customers. The learners that used to buy the buveras are no longer buying them. Let's keep our environment clean. Let's keep it green. Let's stop the use of things that destroy our environment. The environment, when protected, means that we are also protected. If we do not protect our environment, then we are also losing our lives and destroying the generations that are coming after us. The ban of Cavera has, has actually promoted the clean environment and the community around have stopped selling the Cavera because they used to get the customers from the students. The students no longer buy Cavera and for that matter they have also stopped from selling Cavera all over. We have resorted to buying the bags which can easily decay and for that matter those bags can be reused and after reusing the bags, students have saved their money, their pocket money which they would be using to buy buvela all the time.
it is now being saved and now students are very comfortable with it. My message to the entire public is that let us protect the environment by ensuring that all of Vela's entire the country are abolished so that we keep the environment clean for our future generation. Chigezi High School Environmental Club members led by Kukunda Kwe Mark, Aliho Victorious Susan and Aijuka Susan say that they have been incurring a lot of costs on Kavela which is not reusable and also harmful to the environment. They added that students have embraced the move in all corners of the school and everyone is using paper bags as one way of preserving the environment. They called upon fellows to embrace the move for the benefit of their lives and community. The burning of Kavela in Chigezi High School is affecting both those who are inside and those who are outside, because even if you're outside, you cannot enter inside school without Kavera. So us not using Kavera is helping us save money, because usually if you buy that paper bag, you use it today, use it tomorrow, use it another day. So apart from helping us save money, it is also reusable. Apart from it being reusable, it is also good for the environment, because even if when you throw it, it can rot. It's not like this black and white person bugs that we usually had in the first place. So it is helping us in school and it is also helping us in the society because they are going to learn from us and if they cannot bring it outside, inside school, then they can also not use it outside school. My message is uh, as we grow up, as we live in a community, it is us to use this community, it is us to guard our environment and because we are the ones who are staying in it, we should guard it so safely. So. Ban Cavera, use paper bag, live so well, conserve our soil, conserve our environment, and save your money. Well, students have embraced that because we see that when you come to our school, to get high school, you cannot find any student having Cavera, whether in the compound, whether in the dormitories. We have managed to use paper bags, and if you don't have a paper bag, at least you have something like a tiffin, you can put in your your stuff. If you go to the canteen, you want something, you put it in. And we have managed to we have managed to do a lot of things that can prevent us from having a career. The things that we've managed to do, we've we've managed to plant, we've managed to plant different things. For example, when we were at, up in the compound, we realized that we have some flowers, we have some veins in, in things that, like sacks so that we cannot, at least we have, we have to do everything ensuring that there is no use of those buvelas, the green, the black, the white, any type of cavera. So we've managed to do that. Well, in conserving the environment, uh, there have been a few challenges. Basically, uh, sometimes it is difficult to transform from what you've been using. For example, we are all used to using polythene and what have you. Now, transforming from that to use of paper bags and these other things and new technologies, we find sometimes it is a bit tricky, inaffordable, and what have you. Memory Guma Aguma for iTelevision.